In this video, I'm going to revisit my quiz results slide, my customized quiz results slide, uh, primarily because of the launch of Adobe Captivate 9. Uh, there's some things that you can do differently that will work out to your advantage. And uh, this is my old course here, and the quiz results slide, pretty straightforward. What I did is I used advanced actions to create um, a show hide scenario. So depending on how you did on the final quiz, you would either be shown the congratulations message or shown the you were not successful message. And this was achieved by simply doing um, an on enter slide um, advanced action script that I called results. I'll show you real quick what that looked like. Advanced actions and here's the, w the window here. So, so you would see uh, if the quiz results uh, were equal to one, in this, in, in other words, one is a pass and zero is a fail, I would hide the results fail message and show the results pass message. Else, show the results fail and hide the results pass message. And, you know, I wanted to do a lot more with this slide, but, you know, I wanted to keep it fairly simple. And this isn't really a, a super advanced, advanced action, but, you know, I find that every time I have the show hide scenarios, um, you know, it, it can get confusing and, and difficult to work with. Uh, but, you know, it's still a viable solution if you're using Adobe Captivate 8. Now, with Adobe Captivate 9, with the introduction of multi-state objects, you can do this a little bit differently. So let me take a look. Let me show you um, what I've done to improve upon this quiz results slide. So here I have single objects, nothing, nothing uh, extra here. There's no hidden uh, message behind this one. This is simply called results message. And I've added a character. Um, in this case, it's, I've just simply titled it reaction. And then what I've done is I'll show you first of all the quiz results message. If we go into state view, I created a second state called failure where it switches to the failure message. Exit state. And I did the same thing for the character. Now the character is there to just provide a human face, some emotion behind how you did. And if we go into state view, you can see that, you know, Hmm, too bad. So just sort of a message indicating I didn't want him to be, you know, big thumbs down or crying or anything like that. But I wanted to just show, you know, uh, sort of a critical look on his face. But of course, we're hoping for this result here. So exit state. And how you activate this, it's really simple. I've got an updated version of my result script. So from the properties panel under the actions tab, is your on enter action for the slide and I'm just going to show you what this advanced action looks like it takes no more code in fact it's about the same amount of code but it's a lot simpler so uh, and in fact of course it's really less code when you consider the fact that I'm changing the state of two objects and not just one message so same thing as before if the quiz results are equal to one in other words if you pass the quiz we're going to change the state of the results message to normal and change the state of the reaction that's the picture of the gentleman back to normal if anything else in other words if you fail uh, it's going to change the results message to failure and the reaction to negative so let me show you what this looks like it's pretty straightforward here I just have a single question in this case here so we'll show you what this looks like we'll preview this from this slide or next five slides is sufficient so here's my multiple choice question and let's get it incorrect first so I'll choose one of the incorrect answers um, hit submit and I got that wrong so let's see what my quiz results slide looks like yeah so we were not successful and we get the message here about retaking the course and of course we get the image of our gentleman here not too happy with the results so let's uh, let's retake this course and this time we'll choose the correct answer and hit submit 
correct. So let's see what the quiz results page looks like now. Big improvement. So again, I get 100% on that qu uh, quiz. I get a big, nice, happy congratulations message. And obviously, my uh, gentleman here is totally happy with my results. So um, it, it's exactly the kind of result that I'm looking for on my quiz results slide. I only show a couple of things. I show the score. I show the maximum score. One out of one equals 100%. I don't show all of the options that a typical uh, regular quiz results slide uh, uses. So, And of course now I can continue with this course or rate this course. I've got a special survey set up on a hyperlink. So it works great. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll find out about the latest videos as they come out. And if you thought this video was helpful, useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.